shopping vlog. Okay, so this one is actually kind of different feeling just because the room that we're doing is totally different. It's actually for Megan Rinks. You guys know her from her own channel and also Beauty Break. She's all over that. So we are helping her with her bedroom. And so this shopping vlog is all about prepping for her bedroom. And the reason why it's different is because her bedroom is starting out in pretty good condition. And you guys know how that's different because the other rooms we've been doing have been completely empty. But with Megan, she has like a beautiful bed already. She has a dresser we can use, etc. So it's kind of more about like those quick fix things. So I'm gonna go shopping for Megan. And oh, another thing guys, she also loves white. Like, she just wants her room to be just like all white. Very, very interesting challenge. And also, speaking of challenge, subscribe! Super easy, click, and you will enter to win our $10,000 room transformation giveaway when we get to 1 million subscribers. And also, follow me on Snapchat and Instagram while you're at it. If you guys like the behind the scenes stuff, Snapchat is a great place for all of that. So, let's get into the mood boards first. And then it's also a Sunday and I'm about to go hit up the flea market. So let's check out the mood board so you guys know the plan and then come along to the flea market. Yay, let's do it. All right, everybody, let's start with the mood board. So you guys know this is what I send to the clients to approve before I go shopping for them because I usually surprise them with most of the items. So this is Megan's serene and beautiful bedroom. And these are two of the main inspo images just for the sort of overall vibe of her space. The overall design will feature tones of white and lush fabrics and a mix of upholstered metal and wood furniture. So her vibe is definitely like very light colored. If you guys have seen her Instagram, she does an all white theme, which we will definitely play up in her room. And here's what I'm so excited about you guys. Do you see this molding that is happening here? This wainscoting that is just so gorgeous. Architecturally does so much for the room in such a subtle, beautiful way. So we're just playing with a lot of subtleties. She has this weird window in her bedroom that's like a tiny rectangular closet window or something. It's my theory that the room got expanded and that window was probably inside an old closet. And now it's just oddly in the corner of her room. So I wanna make that more of an architectural element as well since we're kind of playing with that with both the molding and doing some sort of arch shape around it. And I also love the idea of updating her dresser or maybe bedside tables with like some brass elements. Again, just really playing with subtleties, metallics. And then I also love this chair, I mean, guys, this chair is dreams. It's from Anthropology. I love the idea of a furry seat cushion, so being able to do that DIY style, I think, would be pretty easy. And oh, beaded chandelier, which we have to put over the bed. All right, guys, so here is the shopping board, which I still have open in Photoshop because I have been adding to it as I go. Um, this is a picture of Megan's existing bed. Her bed is amazing. Here it is, so cool, high backed, tufted headboard and I might update the dresser with some new knobs. And then here are the other things that I've ordered. I love these two side chairs because she definitely likes mixing like traditional items like tufted furniture with then things that have kind of more modern lines. But look at these cushions, like that looks like a marshmallow that I wanna sit on. Like So those I got at Joss and Main. Those are on the way. And then I also got these side tables, which I think are so cool. They're like, you know, the straight lines. Again, she has actually two really cool side tables. They just don't have drawers in them. So I'm thinking it'll be better for her to have some storage because she has like books and clutter and stuff that kind of builds up. And then look at this rug, you guys. Oh, this rug is amazing. It's basically like a macrame wall hanging, but in a rug. Also, I'm gonna get her a new little desk area because she does her makeup in front of her window and she kind of has to move her desk out and then put it back, etc., for when she shoots video. So I thought, why not position her vanity in front of the window where she wants to use it and get her one of these desks that flips up and becomes a makeup vanity. But that way, when she's not using it as a makeup vanity, she can just 
fold this down and it won't obstruct the view of the window. And then this chandelier is so gorgeous. I got this, I believe, off Joss and Main as well. And this has wooden beads on it, so bohemian. And this will look amazing hung above her bed. Okay guys, and finally, let me show you the floor plan for Megan's room. This is just gonna help you guys Keep in mind where I'm putting everything. Right now she has the bed here, the dresser actually over here, and the desk over here. So I'm changing up the position and the layout of her room, giving her the giant rug, two bedside tables, and then those two slipper chairs are here, the cocktail table here. So she has a nice little seating area in her room, which makes it feel much more like a master suite. And then the dresser is gonna go right here, which is right outside the bathroom door, and then taking the desk that converts into a vanity and putting it right in front of these sliding glass doors. And then a beautiful plant in the corner, and that's it. Now you know all that I know, so let's go hit up the flea market first. All right, here it is, guys. This is my favorite flea market, Melrose Trading Post. It's the end of the day. We'll try to get some good deals, guys. Look at those angel wings. Yeah, those are cool. The, I think the flamingo dancers wear those, right? Is it in? No. I think it goes this way. Uh, I don't think you're wearing it right. Wait, why are you looking at clothes? Are we shopping for her room? Yeah, but Joey. Yeah, but Joey. You never know what you're going to find amongst amongst. Like, wait, let's go back. I love these old pictures. We could just do a collage of like other people's grandmas. Yeah, that's cool. This is what I love about the flea market, you guys. The vintage rugs. They're just piled up. I think we bought a lot of rugs from this guy. No, this is a different guy. My other guy's over there. I've been here a lot. <laughs> I've been to this flea market many times. Ooh. I'll do it for 15. 15? Trash can? Sure. How cute is that with the little legs? What about this one for 15? 10. Done. First purchase trash can. Oh, you have plenty. I'm scared. Look at these, you guys. I'm oh my god. Where is it? What is the story with this stuff? I do they dye it after? Yeah. Yeah. These are cool too. I know, it's just she wants all like white. Yeah, yeah, no, not for her. Look at all this beautiful mid-century stuff. How cute are these? $50 for the, for the three. Is this you? How much is this one? Oh! <laughs> okay then. <laughs> I'm trying to buy the displays. Typical me. This mirror with the little garland. That's like borderline cheesy to me, but she need this. Definitely that. They're just people watching, they're not for sale. <laughs> the porthole mirror tray. That is cool. We could mount it on the wall. What are you doing? Is there somebody inside here? Somebody dashing? I give Megan like someone's grandma. <laughs> like just like for her dress. I like you know. Copper tray table. That's crazy. Oh, everything's so cute. Look at this setup. Does it look as, it looks so magical. So nice. Oh, whoops. Oh, there you are. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed. Joey. Look at, these are Moroccan shag pillows. Look at these guys. Oh my god, neon Moroccan shine. All right, so it's at the end of the flea market. Everyone's packing up, and I haven't found anything that I like more than that square mirror that we found in the beginning and the uh, wings. So we're gonna head back and grab those. So here's where you're getting your mirror from. Oh, is it gone? She said it's in the truck. So we're going to the truck? Should we grab the angel wings on our way out? All right, I'll see you back in the car. Thank you. Thank you. I'm back for my angel wings. There's two pair. Woo! I feel like this needs to be on Joey's 
office door. Okay, Angel Wings trash can purchased. Meeting Joey at the car. Oh look, who came to find me? My angel came to get me. Oh, that's so cute, Joey. Okay, so I just got my hair done. I got my hair, or my just my roots done, and they blow dry my hair. Very straight, it's very, very straight. Today is my shopping day for Megan at stores, right? So I hit up the flea market, got some stuff. So I've gotta get some lamps. I've gotta get some other like tabletop items. I've gotta get some throw pillows, etc. And so we shall see. Okay, so I think I will get this beautiful soft woven throw blanket and that'll just add some dimension to the bed and now here we are in lamp land the bed is a king size bed so like if i put like small lamps they're gonna look too little so we need something more like this size oh my gosh i kind of am obsessed with these you guys look this is like a little marble ring in between Okay, let's pair a shade with these and see how we like it with a shade. Okay, so now I picked this square shade, but as I'm looking at this brass lamp, I'm remembering that I want to add brass accents onto the bedside tables, and my worry is that this color brass is going to clash with the brass we're adding to the tables as a DIY. I actually really like these. Like, it's like really kind of a modern shape since it's so simple, you know, that very sort of like mid-century. But then the shells add a lot of like subtle dimension and of course in different tones of white or color palette. There's just a little thing. Magazine rack. This is so awesome. With like the wood and the white and the brass. This is like perfect. We could put this next to her vanity. <gasps> yes, I do think so. So I'm gonna go hit up Marshall's to see if I can find some throw pillows and some like tabletop doodads. Candles. Candles are always good for tabletop styling. But how cute would that be for like flowers on her dresser? Just like a lineup of this with like one white flower coming out of each thing. This is also really pretty. There's just something about a heavy, beautiful clock that just legitimizes the space. I think this would be really pretty. A little elephant with a cool pattern. Okay guys, she does have like this little outdoor patio. I think we need to get it. Could go in the room, could go out on the little Juliet balcony. It's not a patio, it's a balcony. So I grabbed these, which these are called vase fillers, that actually could be really cool with those inside or maybe just like a little plant or something. Here's an example of where you should look in different sections. So I was just walking by, this is like the wine bottle storage, I guess. She has a lot of like makeup brushes and stuff. So like how cute would this be for a little like makeup brush caddy? All right, makeup brush caddy, here we go. Joining the other things. Look at these, they're these amazing knobs. And I want to change out the knobs on her dresser without getting those. I'm also getting some faux plants, you guys, because I've just been embracing them a little more lately since people have such a hard time like getting to the store and getting fresh flowers or keeping plants alive. So I thought these were really cute. They like look pretty real to me and they're in a little concrete container, which I think is super cute. So getting those. All right, so I'm walking across the parking lot now. I'm gonna hit up TJ Maxx and see if there's any pillows there. All right guys, so I'm in the basket section here and I wanna get her like some basket options, but I feel like it'll be really cool to paint these white. Okay, so I found this platter and obviously this is like meant for, you know, serving dishware, but I just love this almost like toile-like pattern on it basically exactly like this so i feel like this on like the little cocktail table we're bringing in will be so cute just like this with like a candle so cute i found these like plaid that have like a silver thread now i know i know they're not white but they're like a light gray and i feel like two of these on the bed will be really pretty i feel like it could work so i'm gonna get these you know i like to test things out i'm testing them out on the floor i couldn't find any other place but i like this story 
for her bed. The metallic and then like it's not really natural wool textured one. I'm also getting this DKNY king size comforter. She already has like nice bedding, but I think an added element of another comforter either folded down at the bottom of her bed will just bring that like hotel like look. Okay, how did I find myself in the handbag section? This is not what I came here for. Oh my god, how cute. Ooh, fringe. <laughs> fringe. Okay, I don't need bags. Kate, go stand in line. Take your weird creature cart <laughs> get in line. <laughs> Okay guys, hello. It is the morning of the prep day. I'm excited. I love prep day because I get to like see the space again because I've only seen it once. I kind of troubleshoot those last minute things in my head. Know if there's any last minute stuff I have to buy. So that's what I'm gonna do today as well as load all the stuff in because I still have all that stuff in my car from yesterday. Okay, so this is Marco. He uses a gimbal, which is how we get those smooth, cool, floating looking shots. And there he goes, he's about to fly away. Ready? <laughs> We're plotting and scheming the molding, you guys. This is thong over here and this is butt crack. Remember guys that I told you that there's always something that goes wrong? Well, we were just unpacking the bedside tables and one of them, because they got shipped to us, is literally like completely broken. Oh my God, just completely falling apart and I need matching bedside tables. I feel like it's like a sign from the universe that I should just use what she has. I am now at Osh, Orchard Supply and Hardware, I do believe it stands for. Not blabbing, I got shopping to do. Let's go. I'm heading out to the nursery section. No, not where they have children, where they have plants. So I love snake plants. I don't know, sometimes they have them here. Oh my gosh, yes, snake plant just what I was looking for. Wait, you guys, <laughs> it's literally the only snake plant in this place. Like, look, no more snake plants, just like this one chilling, like perfect size. Shopping for Megan is done. Prep for Megan is as good as it's gonna get. And tomorrow is the big day of the install. Ah! Hi, everybody, good morning. Good morning, Tiro. Good morning, Brad. <laughs> he shines bright. So it's the install day. We're at Megan's. I feel pretty calm. It's the calm before the storm. Look who it is. <laughs> Wait, I have to show your pants. They're so cool. Um, ignore the fact that I'm not wearing socks. I mean, I'm wearing socks, but no shoes. But do you want to see the hole in my socks? Oh, yes. <laughs> this is what lunchtime looks like. This is what lunchtime looks like. Okay, everybody, I'm home from Megan's place. We just finished her video. I love how Megan's room turned out. It was so her, I feel like. She's so cool, and I just had such a blast hanging out with her. So please give this vlog a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more. And also let me know in the comments just what you think of the room and the shopping experience in general. And also subscribe. Hashtag Mr. Gate 1 million. Are we almost there? We're like so close, guys. Come on, help us. All right, I will see you on the next video, next shopping vlog, next decorating video, next DIY video, next style video. I don't know. We have lots coming out. So thanks so much. Love you so much. Bye.